Well, Republican lawmakers are demanding for tougher immigration laws following the death of Kate Steinle at the hands of an illegal immigrant with a long rap sheet. Right now, the Senate is considering two bills. The first bill would cut federal funding to sanctuary cities. The other, proposed by Senator Ted Cruz, by the way, would place a minimum sentence of five years on illegals who re-enter the country. Now, remember, Kate Steinle was shot and killed by an illegal immigrant who had been deported five times prior to her murder. Joining me now, former NYPD detective Bo Deedle. I want to start with this. It seems to me that in these sanctuary cities, why wouldn't the police want to cooperate with ICE? That well, just seems to me to be for the greater good. No, I, I think happen. the police across the country want to cooperate, but it's the people that are running the cities, the liberal cities that are out there. They're into this thing uh, as far as let them go. Don't report them. I said, I'll be damned if I locked somebody up and I wouldn't call ICE. But the cop out there, he's being ordered not to call in ICE, even if they're an illegal immigrant. And let's face it, what Donald Trump's talking about is exactly this issue. If you commit a crime and you're illegally in this country, get the hell out of here. That's the way I feel about it also. Right. Why should I give them the right to be in this country? They're illegally here. They're committing a crime. Get them out of here. And I think that resonates with Americans with Donald Trump. Do you think this would, under uh, Kate's law, they would get a five-year minimum sentence? Yeah, I mean... Do you think that that's yeah, enough? Yeah, I, I think that's important. The, I, I love the canceling of the federal funding. Yeah. Cease the federal funding because the, the dollars bill. and cents make people talk. And when they talk, they talk when they get money. When they ain't getting money, then people are going to be complaining. But in reality, let's be real about it. You've got people that are undocumented. We have no idea who they are. They release them. We don't know who they are. They commit crime after crime. Let's get them out of the country. Let's keep the good Mexican people, Central American people here mm -hmm. that are good people, not committing crime. Crimes. I have no problem with that. When you commit a crime, you're here illegally, out of here. Sanctuary cities, you know, you mentioned that these are liberal cities. Yeah. Are they making it harder for cops to do their jobs effectively? Absolutely. I mean, if you know, I mean, look at what's happened in New York when they came up with this thing that no more stop and frisk. They had gun arrested down, yeah, because no one's searching anybody. So the guns are on the street. It's all how the police department is being controlled by the mayor. And it's not even really the police commissioner because he takes his direction from the mayor. And when you've got cities, these sanctuary cities that are being controlled, by these liberal mayors, that's the problem. Then the poor cops are there and have to turn their head. They got an illegal person there committing a crime. Now they got to release them. Heck, I put them into the cell, call up ICE and say, pick up one of your guys over here and deport them. Bring them to the border, throw them on the other side. Let me ask you this. I mean, this at the end of the day, this could become and has become a bigger federal issue. It's a huge yeah. political issue. As you mentioned, Donald Trump, of course, has risen to political prowess because yeah. of this issue. So if, if this but if this takes up, it's, it's taken up in Washington, this is also going to become a political debate. And you're going to have the liberals, Bo, that are going to say, we're an open country, an open society. Yeah, well, I mean, this if, is going to be another fight. That's so the, the definitiveness of... But is it worth it, is my question. Here's the idea. It's very definitive who you're going to vote for for president. One person wants to tighten us up and keep illegals out. The other person wants open borders where we don't even have a border anymore. Everybody, come by A. Come on in. Mm -hmm. ISIS, come on in. And then when the explosions start happening, people are dying. Everyone says... What happened? How did they infiltrate? How did the Syrians get in here? I thought they were Syrian. Oh, my goodness. They had a passport, but they own the passport companies in Syria, the ISIS. They're printing them out as we're talking. My thing is, my biggest concern in this country is the safety of Americans. And we have to get more safe before we're so deep into this, where we have an everyday occurrence of terrorist attacks like you have in the Middle East. And it's right. not that far away if they infiltrate this country so much. Terrorism and also illegal immigrants committing crimes yes. and killing Americans, which is why we're yes. having this discussion today. Both, both, Deedle, thank you very much.